All right, so let's do a part two on the Amazon stock. Yes, if you watched yesterday's video, you know I am very disappointed in the stock and so is a lot of other people. I mean, uh, if there was one stock that was gonna beat, it should have been Amazon. And, and when I say beat, I don't mean the bottom line. I mean actually the top line. Revenues, man, that's what it's all about. It's about how much money did you take in? Can't fake that number. And uh, it just wasn't enough. And then they kind of sandbagged the uh, the future, the future couple quarters coming up, you know, because of the comps. And I, and I get it. And I get it. But we're going to look at the charts here. You know, we're going to look at the charts to see what we've seen and to, to see what we see now, because this is the monthly. And y'all can probably look at that and go, oh, maybe I should start with the weekly. Yeah, let's start here. All right. So we had the consolidation period and you can see what it's like. Here's the consolidation period from before a very long one, almost two years. And we just ripped to the next level. Right. And Amazon seemed to be doing it again. This time, not as long as this, which was long. Oh, my gosh. There's the breakout. Here comes earnings and boom, it's a fake breakout. And. Uh, fake breakouts are ugly. I just got, I got to admit it. I mean, this this will catch everybody. It'll catch everyone holding the bag. And this is what makes me feel that the pressure, it is, any, any movement to the upside is just going to be sold off. And I'm not saying Amazon is just done. It's not going to be going up forever. I'm saying it's just not going to go up anytime soon. And generally, when you have a breakout, a fake breakout, a false breakout to the upside, you generally visit the bottom of the channel and that's why i have that circle right here because i this is where i actually think we're headed i i think we headed to the 3000 and I, i'm not gonna it, it hopefully it holds hopefully it holds but suppose it doesn't suppose it breaks now let me go to the monthly y'all saw that in the beginning of the video right get a little closer here and let me clear out yeah let's clear the lines out man let's start fresh so you can see what's going on that candle that is drewn because today drewn <laughs> my goodness okay that candle that is drawn right today this is the monthly this is the last day of the month right so this candle will print just as is and then there'll be a new monthly candle come monday but um that's an ugly candle generally to my experience, especially when that's a breakout candle, it doesn't look good. There's a lot of there's going to be a lot of sellers up here. I mean, a lot of people, like I said, got holding the bag, gap down, and um, uh, any attempt to even get in that little wick area is going to be met with selling. So, but like I said, I think it actually visits the down bottom of the range, and I'm not even a hundred percent sure that that holds. And you can see the the wick here when it just flip this up upside down right you kind of get that and then you can see that pressure right to the upside right so i'm thinking we got it up here and we're gonna go to the downside let me show you a stock a couple stocks let me show you the uh activision activision blizzard let's look at that okay so you could see kind of the same action right let me draw we got that sideways action you can see the breakout that did not happen Right. And then it just kind of worked its way to the bottom of the range. You actually hit here. Right. It went from here to here, tried to bounce back. And it's failing. Right. It's just coming out the bottom. Uh, it's up today. So that's good news. Maybe this holds. There is some support right here. But who knows? All I do know is it's out of the range. It came out of the range. So and it's at the bottom of the range. Right. So not only it came to the bottom of the range. It is out of the range. And ah, don't that candle look familiar? How about this one? Let's pull up an index. The EEM. You know what's going on with that, right? And same thing. Same thing. We got your sideways action. Right? You see your breakout. And uh, ugly. Right? Chopped a little bit. Actually went to the bottom of the range the next month, right? Up. Bottom of the range. Let's go to the uh, maybe the daily so you can see it a little better, right? So break out and do boom, boom right to the bottom, okay? Right to the bottom of the range, and then uh, sideways, and then finally it broke through. And we we'll go back to the monthly, and you could see that, right? So um, it's out of the range now. Is it gonna? 
is it going to hold? It looks like it's trying to hold and maybe jump back in the range, but I don't know, man. It's too early to tell. This one's down 1% today. Let's go back really quick to ATVI because I do want to pull up the daily on that one. Uh, I was looking at the monthly so you could see it a little better, right? So you had the, the breakout and then right to the bottom of the range. Just It just goes right there, right? Little sideways chop and then boom, it, it broke through. So now back to Amazon. And I'm not saying this is going to happen. All we can do, uh, all I can do is use my experience, which ain't much. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I, I, I be trading these breakouts, man. And I've been called, I called this fake breakout before it even happened. And I just didn't think it was going to happen with Amazon. I, I really felt that way. So here's the breakout, right? And then boom, look where we are, right? Um, it'd be nice if we fill this gap. Maybe we will, but. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So that's the daily and bring it back to the, this ugly monthly. And you can see what I just I just think that we're heading down here next month. Now, this is the monthly, so it's not going to happen tomorrow. But if I come up here, come over here, uh, August 30th or whenever the last day of the month is for August, I have a feeling we're going to be down here somewhere. All right. So y'all can hold me to it. But um that's that trade. So what I did now, I had a lot of trades on on Amazon and I usually don't do out of the money, but with Amazon, I did out of the money. <laughs> so if I shrink it down, my breakout estimate for this breakout was 5,000. But from the news that they said, I just don't know if it gets there within the time frame that I had allotted for my call spreads. So therefore, I sold the positions out. I'm not saying that it's not going to get there. You know, I just sold them out because I don't got time to waste a couple of more months for sideways action or even lower. And I'll just find something else to trade. Now, in the next video, I will show you some of the other things that I'm thinking about trading. Also, while going through that list, and this is just a, a teaser, uh, things didn't look good. Uh, things look very toppy when I was going through a bunch of stocks and I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. So I didn't even redeploy a lot of the money that I took out of Amazon. I just kind of got it sitting there looking for better opportunities. But uh, yeah, I took a big hit in Amazon, man. It was ugly. Probably one of my lo biggest uh, losses. And uh, mm, probably some others as well <laughs> because the breakout was so clear that is one thing that i was always worried about with this particular trade and bring it up now remember yesterday this was a nice green candle right here right up to the right up to there and um when it looks so clear and it looks so beautiful where everyone can see it it just doesn't happen but i was like this is Amazon. It's going to happen. And it didn't. It didn't. So what I should have done yesterday was I should have lightened up some of my positions, which I planned on doing it today, even if it was down. But I just didn't think it would go down 250 points, down 7%. It was even down as low as uh, 8%, I think. I didn't think it was going to go that low. I thought it would be down just as uh, the market makers said, 100 points. Even 150 would have been like, yeah, all right, you know. See what happens. And I thought we would beat, right? I thought the revenue would beat. Um, the bottom line would beat. But uh, we beat on the bottom line, but not, not on the top line. So, oh, man. So if those were the beat and we down, it's like, okay, big deal. Big deal. We was toppy anyway, right? And that's how I would have looked at that. But this one, there's a reason we're down. And that's why it's down hard. And uh, we already know comps are going to be tough. Last year was a killer year. It was great. I mean, it was insane. It was all, you know, Amazon prepared 20 years for, for what happened last year. And it, they killed it. You know, they killed it. You can see the run up. It's just un unbelievable. So to, to comp those years, it's last year. It's just not going to happen. I mean, other stores are open. These guys were the only ones open for the most part. Oh, man. So, um, you know, other stores are open. Um, the other parts of the business is every part of the business is doing well, but it's just, uh, you know, it's just going to be tough, man. There's a lot of competition out there, even with Amazon Web Services, even though the Web Services number did well. But um, 
and stores are open, you know, and people just out not shopping. That's what they said, right? So it's just when you have a premium like that, it's not going to get to 5,000 anytime soon. You know what I mean? It, it, you need to beat on everything. That's why you got the premium, right? So you have a this, this super premium. What I think was sales, price of sales, uh, or is it PE? I can't think of which one. 66. Um, you you got to come through. You got to come through, right? The bar is high and you got to jump the bar. And if you don't jump the bar and you're like, well, he didn't even really make that much money. <laughs> now they actually made, I mean, damn, these guys made it, what is, was $113 billion for the month quarter? It's crazy. It's insane. But the, the way the stock is priced is priced. You need to be even making more than that. Right? So, uh, yeah, they, they, they fell $2 billion short on the cash, you know. So, um, yeah, stock got a hit. You're going to take a hit when you do that. Especially when you're toppy. Now, if we was at the bottom of the range, uh, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But we was at the top of the range. We was breaking out. And uh, the numbers, the numbers wasn't breaking out. So back to the range. Back to the range we go. Right? So, um, but generally, like I said, when this happens, we generally find ourselves to the bottom of the range real quick. All right. So I hope you, you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about Amazon. I know some people said you want to buy. It. Hey, it's a great buy. This, let me tell you something. I'm not saying Amazon is done. It's the way I trade. I need shit to happen in the next two years, okay? I need it to happen. And and, my, and I was way out there. I was trying to make a killing. I was going I was going for the home run, the grand slam. You know, putting on spreads right around the 5,000 area. Not saying it's never going to get there. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to wait. I think we got some more sideways action to even lower to go. Yeah, and, and definitely, even if we don't get to the bottom of the range, today's low is not the low. We're, we're going lower. I mean, there's some more support down here, you know, 31, 12. I actually think we, we touch hmm, 3,000 is a nice round number, you know. So 3,000 maybe, yes, here's the low, low of the range, right? So that's uh, 2881. And over here, that was uh, 2871. So maybe we even go to 2880, right? And if we bounce here, or even 3000, I think that's the spot to get in. And maybe I'll put those trades back on. All right, so hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, comments below. Like, subscribe, share, Twitter, Instagram, Dre Trades. I'm over there. And I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good weekend. Straight Trades. I'm out.